Hey guys, in today's video, we're going to be talking about the biggest retraction mistake that you can make. I'm not going to go over the basic retraction mistakes like not having a long enough length or not having a high enough speed. But if you're finding major under extrusion because of your retraction, then this is a common mistake that you guys are going to make that is not very well known by the community. The TLDR on this is basically if you're retracting at too high of a speed and your priming speed, which is the detraction speed, is the exact same value, then you could get under extrusion or your extruder could start clicking. Now the reason why you're getting clicking from your stepper motor or under extrusion is because your stepper motor doesn't have enough torque at that speed to continue to prime the nozzle. Because when you're retracting, you're not actually sucking the filament back up through the PTFE tube. In fact, you're actually releasing the pressure inside the Bowden tube. Because when your extruder is pushing filament through, the filament is actually snaking inside your Bowden tube because it's not the exact diameter of your filament. So it's gonna be some small tolerances between the filament and the tube itself, and therefore the filament can snake in there, and it's gonna take the longest path to the extruder. However, when you retract, what you're doing is you're pulling the filament backwards, and it's gonna take the shortest path or the inner curve of the Bowden tube. And by you retracting, you're actually releasing that pressure so that no longer is a snaking, but it's actually being pulled along the inner curve of the Bowden tube and it's also going to pull back ever so slightly to the nozzle by about a millimeter or two but you're definitely not pulling it out of the hot end. So when you're priming there's already some filament at the exit of the nozzle all you're doing is applying a bit more pressure so that it flows evenly and when the stepper motor tries to prime at too quick of a speed it won't have enough torque because if you look at the torque curve of a stepper motor the higher the speed the lower the amount of torque they have at that speed. So therefore, if you're attracting at a fast speed of 40 millimeters per second, then you wanna to try to prime maybe around 25 millimeters per second. And if you're having this issue, I'd appreciate if you smash that like button down below and subscribe to this channel for more 3D printing tips. So just for your reference, I was printing with PETG at a temperature of 265 degrees, as well as a bed temperature of 80 degrees. The retraction speed was around 40 millimeters per second. However, the difference between these two prints here is that one was primed at 25 millimeters per second and the other one was primed at 40 millimeters per second. The one that was primed with 40 millimeters per second, I noticed that my extruder was clicking a lot. The priming, you hear like a click click from the extruder. And sometimes this could be actually the gear slipping on the filament trying to push it in or it's actually internally the stepper motor is clicking itself because it's not able to rotate its own shaft. So those are the two things to look for if your extruder is clicking. If you guys are using flash print, Cura, or Super Slicer, you'll have the option to change your priming speed. And I've displayed the screens where you can find the setting. However, on Simplify 3D, it's not as easy as that. You actually have to add some custom G-code, and I'll explain that to you right now. So in the scripts tab, you're going to want to go to the bottom where there's additional commands for post-processing. You're going to want to put this line down there in this general format. You're going to have an E value and an F value in the first section and another E value and F value in the second section. The E value in your first section is equivalent to the extra restart distance. Typically people leave this at zero, but if you have a different number, make sure that you switch it to that number. Also, you want to make sure you have four decimal places. If your E value is like 0.2, just make sure to add three more zeros to that. Then the first F value that you have is equal to your attraction speed in millimeters per minute. For this F value, make sure there's no decimal points. So in my case, I'm retracting at 40 millimeters per second. And basically what I'm doing is telling the script to go into my G code and look for every single instant where I'm priming. And then I'm gonna change that line so that it actually primes at a different speed. And this is where the second half of the command is. You've got G1, which is also there in the first half, and you don't wanna change that. Your E value, you also wanna keep the same because you're not trying to change the extra restart distance. And this leads us to the F value, which is the very last value, which is the one that you wanna change. So for me, I wanted to change it to 25 millimeters per second or 1500 millimeters per minute. So that's what I've typed in here. So this is how I solved under extrusion for PETG. Now this could possibly happen for other filaments, but I haven't really experienced it for PLA. I haven't printed ABS, nor have I printed polycarbonate or anything else on the Adventure 4. But if you guys are finding this is happening on your printer, and this could happen for any printer, then make sure to change your priming speed. If you found this tip very useful, remember to leave a like down below. I've got a couple other videos up on the screen here. If you're interested in those, I'll see you there. If not, that's a wrap.